I don't like not knowing. I don't like the thought of feeling of being content with not understanding or not wanting. So when I see what other people can do, what can be obtained from a thought, from a want, from a feel, it makes me go, well, I got the same thoughts and the same feelings and the same wants. I don't have what these people have. I haven't done nearly half the thing that these people have done. That makes me want to fucking work harder. That means that I'm not doing as much as I could because these people are proof that the things that I want to do can be done. I'm not looking at one person that got lucky. If I'm looking at 44 people that are doing amazing shit, why aren't I number 45? When I look and I sit in a room and I'm with Oprah and I, and I see Hove and I see Jeff Bezos, I don't sit in awe. I sit and think to myself, look at where they came from and look at what they are now. More importantly, look at the impact that these people have on the world for real. There's a major impact that comes from individuals. That impact can be an impact of change, positivity, feeding the world. It can be so much more that you never sought out to do. I sought out to be an entertainer and a comedian. I didn't think that I would get to a point where I got 170 million people. I didn't expect to be able to have that type of access. And when you do, you're now putting a different definition on your purpose. So my purpose is bigger than just making people laugh or selling movie tickets. Yeah. Now it's a feel good that's associated with me. Yeah. Now when I'm in the street and people come up to me and they say, hey, Kev, I had a heart attack, man. I swear to God, I didn't want to get out the bed. But something about what you do and what you say made me get out the bed. I've been trying to get in shape. Hey, Kev, my kid, I lost one of my kids, man. I was so down. But, dude, I see the way that you attack every single day. And you make me feel like there's something else for me in life. And I'm starting to feel better. When you start to realize that you have a different purpose, that you're reaching people differently, that people give you a different level of energy yeah. because of what you put out, they're giving it back to you. Yeah. You now go, oh, shit, I'm making an impact. Yeah. I'm making an impact. Like yeah. I there's there's a bigger thing that I can actually do here. Yeah. There's a bigger reach. Yeah. There's more that I'm adding to my story. And for me to have three kids, if my kids can walk away from it all and go, yo, our dad did so much for so many people, that's bigger than saying our dad was so famous and so funny. That's awesome. That's, that's the that's difference really awesome. for me. That's that's, really that's what I'll say. The biggest reason for my entrepreneurial drive right now is is by being a sponge when you're around other entrepreneurs and you see what the benefit of a creative mind is it sparks yours yeah. um the only way to really get to my goal if i'm trying to become a billionaire and i want to take that money and throw it back into several communities i have to surround myself with other people that have that same mentality and, uh, and 100 yeah. percent independent and the one thing that i figured is that everybody has it's not just one thing. There's several different things. There's several. There's several chances. There's several, um, you know, ideas that you're throwing things at. And out of those ideas, you find a great group of people that you can surround yourself that can help you possibly position yourself in a way for these things to work. Yeah. It's not done as an individual. It's done as an individual that gets a great team around them that can help bring your ideas to a reality and that are great at being team players. Like, I have no ego. I don't know at all. I, I don't have the education that matches up with the things that I've done or that I'm doing. But what I do have is the understanding of how things work. And when you get the people that have a different type of understanding and you match my understanding with yours, you have something that is destined to succeed because you're putting a creative vision and a, a real hindsight with the education and the the structure yeah. and the systematic view and combining those things you now look up and you have companies this is yeah. how companies get built yeah. and and when you have a team a real valuable team that has a, a a high level of energy and effort and want and will to make something work because they believe in it yeah the chances of you losing are very slim and i've learned that in life if you can walk away by being a leader and turn around and see the people that you've led and look at what they now have in life, that's the best, that's the best 
justification of how you led because everybody was able to obtain their own. So right now I have people that have obtained their own. So I would break it down to a flawed family man that loves to lead and see his people win. That's how that's, I would define Kevin. Awesome. That's, that's how I right. have that. <laughs>